How's it going, everyone? It's Joshua Lefemi here with Adobe and Epidemic Sound. As you may know, music is an integral part in setting the tone and pacing of the videos that you may want to create. Using the wrong music tracks or transitioning poorly between your music tracks could ruin your whole video. This used to give me a massive headache because of how challenging it can be to use multiple music tracks in your edit. Thankfully, Adobe gives you direct access to Epidemic Sound's massive library of high quality music, along with tools within Premiere Pro to make your transitions seamless. So I'll be working with music from Epidemic sound, which is also available in Adobe Stock and Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's say that you're editing a video that requires you to stay within the same pacing, but your second track just isn't working out. Using two tracks with the exact same BPM can help. The best part is you don't even need to leave Premiere Pro to find your second track. You can find all the music you will need with Adobe Stock Audio, which is integrated right inside Premiere Pro. All you gotta do is open up the Essential Sound panel by going to Window and then clicking Essential Sound. Click over to the Browse tab and you'll immediately have access to many music libraries. Click on Filters and you'll have some options that you can choose. As I said before, I'm using Epidemic Sound because of their unmatched quality in music. I know that my track's BPM is 105 because I chose it earlier from this library. So I can find another track with the same BPM by adjusting the tempo BPM slider. Just like that, I now have hundreds of songs that I can choose from with the same tempo. If I wanted to stay within the same genre, I can always narrow it down by going through the moods or genres menu. What I really appreciate about Adobe Stock Audio is how organized they keep everything for me to narrow down exactly what I need. Creativity can be such a messy process, but this makes choosing the right music track so easy and fun. You can preview the song right in Adobe Premiere Pro with the Timeline Sync feature, or drag it into your timeline to experiment with it right away. With Adobe Stock Credits, you can even purchase the track right away by clicking on the shopping cart icon. Believe me when I say that finding music like this has never been easier. What you wanna do is line up the music so that the beats are aligned, which you can check visually with the waveforms. I'm basically lining up the taller points of the waveform together between the two tracks. Let's also add some keyframes by holding the control key on Windows or the command key on a Mac. While clicking the levels line, we want the music to fade out on the first track, so we want a keyframe at the end of the track, and then drag it down. What this does is tell the audio track to stay at the same audio level until it reaches your second keyframe, which is now completely muted since we dragged it down. As for the second track, let's have it fade in by creating keyframes again. This time we want to start completely silent, but gradually rise in the audio level so that we can begin hearing the track. You can play back the tracks to make any fine adjustments, but this is what it sounds like. Here's a trick that you can try if it feels like the transition could be smoother. Cut the track at the highest point before the beat and add a high pass filter to the beginning portion. If I mute everything and listen to what it sounds like, it's as if I'm listening to a radio in the distance. But we're gonna actually keyframe this so that the track sounds normal right before the beat hits. Go to the effect control panel and under the high pass effect, hit the stopwatch next to cutoff. This is going to create a keyframe that you can then move around. Move your playhead to the end of the clip and change the cutoff amount to 10 hertz. If we play it back on its own, this is what it sounds like. Now let's play it back with everything enabled. It's subtle, but it makes a big difference in blending your tracks together seamlessly without disrupting your viewers. The last trick that I wanna leave you with is a powerful one that will work in most cases. Let's say you have two tracks from Epidemic Sound already in Adobe Premiere Pro, and your second track doesn't have a lead up to smoothly introduce itself. Here's what it sounds like. In this case, my second track starts with a beat right away, so it's quite jarring when we first hear it after the first track. A lot of songs will have a tail that echoes or lingers for a long time. We can actually use this to create a swell for the beginning of the track by chopping it off at the very last beat, and then moving it to the front of the track. Then right click this segment and click speed and duration. What you want to do is check the reverse speed box to reverse the audio clip. Just like that, you have a swell that can be lined up to the beginning of the beat. Now, if that doesn't feel smooth lining it up to the very beginning, you can actually line it up to the next beat that actually feels right. You can also line up the playhead to the moment and hit Control shift d to add an audio transition that smooths it out. Let's listen back by first starting at the first track and let's hear how it transitions into the second track now.
As you can hear, even though both tracks have a different tempo, they still blend well after adding the swell to the second track. And there you go, a few tricks so that you never have to worry about transitioning in between music tracks. That way you can now focus on taking your video content to the next level. Thank you for watching and I hope you had fun learning today. If you're looking for more tips and tricks, make sure to check out more episodes from the Social Edit series. Until next time, remember to keep it chill.